So let's look at this question on empirical and molecular formula. This question says 6 gram of metal M reacts completely with 23.66 gram of chlorine to form 29.66 gram of the metallic chloride. Find the empirical formula of the metallic chloride. Okay. So how do we solve this? Um, first things first, this is a metallic chloride, meaning that um, you have a metal being combined with chlorine, and they call the metal M, right? So from this question here, they gave the atomic the atomic mass of M as 27, and also they gave the atomic mass of chlorine as 35.5. Now your first task here is to calculate the percentage composition of metal M. So get percentage composition. We'll get percentage composition composition of M. And recall that in a previous class we talked about how to find percentage composition of any element. We said it's equal to the mass of the element all over. This will be equal to your formula for percentage composition is simply equal to mass of the elements all over the molar mass all over molar mass of the compound molar mass of the compound times 100 percent all right so for this they said um, six gram of metal M so the mass of M, um, the mass of M, that should be a capital M, is equal to 6 all over molar mass of the compound is simply equal to, um, for this, you can see they gave the, the mass of the metallic chloride, that's the metal plus chloride, as 29.66. That becomes the molar mass of the compound, 29.66, that's mass all over molar mass times 100 percent so if you punch this correctly and let's say let's approximate to two decimal places you have your answer as 20.23 so you have this of course in percentage so 20.23 percent so this was this is for um this is for metal m let's now get for the second element which is chlorine so let's see percentage composition Of chlorine uh, Cl that's equal to the mass of chlorine in the compound which is this um, which is this it said 23.66 gram of chlorine so that becomes 23.66 gram of chlorine all over molar mass of the compound which is the mass of the metallic chloride 29.66 times 100 percent all right so we have this if i punch this um approximate to two decimal places your answer is 79.77 percent so i have this all right so we've gotten the percentage composition of metal m as 20.23 percent and that's for chlorine as 79.77 percent when it comes to getting empirical formula your next step is to write out the elements of the compound that's metal M and chlorine. Your next step here is to write out their percentage composition. For metal M, the percentage composition is about 20.23. Why for chlorine, the percentage composition is about 79.77. So we have this. All right. Your next task, your next task after this is to divide by the their relative atomic mass which for here you can see that for mass m the relative atomic mass of mass m is about 27 so you divide this by 27 for chlorine divide by the relative atomic mass which is given here as 35.5 okay so we divide here by 35.5 now let's get this ratio here for the first one, I have 20.23 divided by 27. 
and that's about approximately 0 0.75 to two decimal places um, for chlorine we have 79.77 divided by 35.5 and that is about 2.25 so we have this Alright, so at this point here, our next tax will be divide by the smaller value, divide by the, so between these two, you divide by the smaller value. That's how you do this. Alright, so divide by the smaller value, you have 0 0.75 and you have 2.25. If I divide, of course, between these two, the smaller value is 0 0.75. So I'll divide both of them, divide this by 0 0.75, divide this by 0 0.75. Alright, let's proceed with this. Of course, if I do this division here, this cancels this, I'm having 1. For this, you have 2.25 divided by 0 0.75 and you have 3. So you have this. So in essence, if you have the metal M and chlorine Cl, for M, your subscript is 1. For chlorine, you have 3. So hence, if I combine these two, you have M1Cl3. Of course, this one here um, can be removed. So that gives you MCl3. So this becomes the empirical formula of the compound as required in the question. Okay? All right, then. So please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, alright? Like this video, leave a comment, tell us if you enjoyed this video, and also suggest other topics you want us to do. If it's your first time here, or you're yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe and hit the bell icon, so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. And then finally, please share this video to your friends, so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.